So, let everybody be seated. <laughs> Today, I'll be discussing um, my topic surrounding school violence and basically when a disciplinary, disciplinary acts become over excessive, how far is too far? And I have a little comic down here to go along with my presentation. Have to check it out. So, the introduction. Um, basically, I'm going to be talking about zero tolerance, the effects that zero tolerance has had within the school system, the disciplinary acts that go along with zero tolerance, and who is the enforcer of these disciplinary acts, whether it be law enforcement, uh, teachers, advisors, any school personnel. So basically, zero tolerance. What is zero tolerance? Zero tolerance was a policy that was created basically to lower crime rates within schools. With, it became a time where kids were bringing in more guns and weapons within schools, so they created the zero tolerance so that they can lower that rate of kids coming in and make schools safer. So we have a little card with me right here. It says, and prohibits the use of profanity, verbal threats, uh, any acts of violence, this is just basic zero tolerance things. Effects of zero tolerance. So, zero tolerance, since they have made this policy of zero tolerance, it's had sort of a, a negative and a positive effect, seeing as basically how they went about implementing this zero tolerance policy. So, they put more uh, security within schools, they made, uh, so you know, metal detectors and whatnot, and also about the consequences that go along with zero tolerance. So you can say a cuss word and that's zero tolerance and you are automatically you know, in trouble and it goes against the zero tolerance policy. So is zero tolerance safe or unsafe? Well, that's the question we have to ask because we don't know who exactly is enforcing this zero tolerance. Is it the personnel or is it law enforcement who is doing most of the enforcing? And does it make the kids feel safe in school or whether it doesn't make the kids feel good. Okay, the effects of zero tolerance. So the long-term effects. So since zero tolerance has been in effect, it's shown that it's had a long-term effect on the kids' educational future. So when they get in trouble at school, the zero tolerance policy is that this child goes to uh, in school suspension or gets suspended or gets expelled. So you have a child's commit a minor crime that goes against zero tolerance and then they're suspended and they're missing the classwork and they fall behind the rest of the class as well. Also, when you're getting expelled, you have kids moving all over the place from school to school. Also, is it actually making, is it actually lowering the crime rate? Do the kids stop the crime because of this uh, zero tolerance policy? Not necessarily. They still might come in with a weapon, they still, not even like intentionally, so you know, the nail clippers that have the little file on there, that's considered zero tolerance weapon and the kids get put out for that. That's not okay, it's not necessary, it's over excessive in my opinion, as far as this goes. Uh, in school, consequence different, who's in charge of disciplinary acts? So I have a little comment for you around here too. So as you can see, as I stated before, they put more security and law enforcement in schools. So as a result, it's been noted that the law enforcement are the ones who are really taking control of doing the discipline of the uh, students. So recent news, how the, uh, we saw the girl that got yanked out of her chair by a police officer because she wasn't complying with what the teacher said. Over excessive, is it necessary? No, does it make any other child feel safe within the classroom because they just saw a law enforcement snatch a child out of a chair for something that wasn't even like that necessary to be done. So are these law enforcement overstepping boundaries? Are they doing too much? Is it really even like safe? It's like kids are in prison almost now, basically, doing the measures that they are for this zero tolerance and this disciplinary action. Um, they, like I said, they Law enforcement, they have been doing more physical also as well as verbal abuse of other students. And also, it was a study showing that students of color or Hispanic background get more of these verbal and physical abuse within school, which we also can see in the news now is of black person, black student, 
the first one to get yanked up, get locked up, get put in handcuffs and everything else. I also looked up a study where a six-year-old, I think, had got cuffed and taken out of classroom because she was doodling on her paper in the middle of class. So because she wanted to draw and she got locked up and everything else and taken out of class and basically embarrassed and for whatever she did. Okay, so because of policemen in school, the rates of arrests have increased, the harm and violence that uh, police put on to students have increased. Also, um, it's not really safe, students don't feel safe. Solution. So, some of my solutions basically is I think that zero, they should redefine what zero, they should redefine what zero tolerance means basically. Basically, I think they should somehow reconstruct it so that it's not so, uh, I can't even figure out the word. It's just too much, basically. Something that's not so necessary. So if a child brings a weapon in, that's concerned, that's, that's what's supposed to be dealt with. That's a consequence that's supposed to come along with. But somebody do, but I don't think should be, you know, put sufficient or anything else like that. Uh, so what the disciplinary actions are. So this child gets suspended, in school suspension, expelled. Also, um, I think they also should figure out who is in charge of giving these disciplinary actions. Should it be the police? Do police, are uh, police equipped to work with children in school that misbehave in such a manner? And what makes them the ones that should be doing this enforcement or yanking kids out of school or whatsoever? So in conclusion, basically, um, school violence has been a big deal basically <coughs> surrounding the zero tolerance policy and zero tolerance has been a major part of why kids are getting in trouble with law enforcement in school and so forth. Thank you guys for listening to my presentation. <laughs> yeah,